Okay, we re we're now ready for the conclusion of our chapter six video lecture. We left off talking about how can I finance the start of my own small business. We discussed angel investors, crowdfunding, venture capitalists, are all different types of funding sources. Another funding source that's available is the SBA, that is the Small Business Administration. This is a government agency that advises and assists small businesses by providing management training as well as law. So the SBA has been around for a while. They started a microloan program in 1991 providing small loans to small business owners. So again, the SBA is another source that you can use to receive funding for your actual business, okay? A small business investment company, SBIC, is licensed by the SBA to do what? A, B, C, or D? The answer is on the next slide. So that you choose A, B, C, or D. If you said B, lending money to small businesses, you would be correct. So what SBIC does is a program through which private investment companies are licensed by the SBA to loan money to small businesses. In order to be considered a small business investment company, that was company must have a minimum of five million dollars in capital. And they can borrow up to two dollars that or they can borrow up to two dollars from the SBA for each one dollar a capital it has. So meaning that if that company has five million in capital, they can borrow ten million from the SBA. And then those funds are used to loan money to small business owners, typically at a lower interest rate. Okay? So there's also what's called small business development centers, which are funded by the federal and the state government. They kind of look at your plan to help evaluate the feasibility of ideas, develop business plans, and complete the funding application, here's the key, for no charge. So if you're considering starting your own business, do the research to see if there's a small business development center in your area that can help you with the starting of your small business, okay? So there are different types of loans provided by the SBA. I will go into all these different types of loans as you're trying to get funding, you hear about these different types, whether it's a standard loan, micro loan, SBA Express, etc. But there are various types of loans that are being offered by the SBA to small business owners. Okay? If you want additional resources, you can click on any of these links that will provide you with additional resources that are very helpful to small business owners. We will talk about one in particular. We'll talk about SCORE in a few minutes, what the SCORE stands for, and what type of service does SCORE actually provide. Okay? Knowing your customers. It's critical that as a small business owner, you know your customers. So you want to make sure that people with unsatisfied wants and needs will have the resources willing to buy. Tap into that market. So is there some type of product or service that you have received and you're like, I'm just not happy with this product or service. I wish the company would do X, Y, Z. Well, you know what? That could be your niche. You know, find out what are the needs that are not being met and how can I turn that into a successful business? One of the great advantages of being a small business owner is that you can adapt quickly and make changes. So I think things, things such as technology. If this technology has now become outdated, okay, then what's new? What's the latest thing that's coming out? So think about what are the wants and needs of your customers and how can I fulfill those needs and still 
make a profit doing so. Okay? For example, you may, you've heard of a company called Mattel, right? And Mattel is famous for their doll, especially the Barbie doll, if you will. So they started small. They were not always a billion dollar corporation. Uh, so Mattel founders start their business in their garage, making picture frames when they discovered that the doll house furniture that made they made with the wood scraps so better than the picture frames. So look at that. They start off making picture frames, but the scraps or the wood from the picture frames that they were making, the excess wood, if you would, they made those into doll houses, and those doll houses were selling quicker. So now today, today Mattel is a multi-billion dollar business thanks to success of blocked blockbuster toys like Barbie. So this is a great example of a company that started off making one product, but then switched gears because they want to meet the needs of their customers. Okay. Now, as a small business owner, you want to make sure that you know how to manage your employees. Hiring, training, and motivating employees is critical. Okay, so for any company, especially small business, you want to make sure that you are empowering your employees to be their best at doing their jobs. Okay, and employees of small companies are often more satisfied with their jobs because they feel challenged and respected. So it is true, often with a smaller company, you're going to play a larger role as an employee than made than what might happen if you work for a large corporation. So entrepreneurs best serve themselves and the business if they recruit and groom employees for management positions. So don't, don't be selfish. When you hire these employees, your goal should be to get them ready to move up to the next step. That will help them become more successful as well as your business. Now, as you all know, I'm an accountant, so this is critical. Keeping records. The main thing I see for small business owners, owners is the inability to keep accurate records and track of their business transaction. As a small business owner, you need to keep accurate accounting and record keeping. Many businesses' failures are caused by poor accounting practices that led to costly mistakes. You're saying, well, I'm not an accountant. I understand. Hire one. Outsource it. You need to make sure that you're keeping proper records pertaining to your business transaction. Okay? These are five mistakes commonly made by small business owners. They're too afraid to commit. You're saying you want to run the business, but you're not all the way in. You're kind of like, yeah, I'm doing this business, but I'm not 100% sold on it. Or they hire the wrong people. It's important that you hire the right people and properly train the right people. They don't want to give up control. You hire people to do a job, but you want to let them do their job because you want to be in control of everything. They become complacent, like, well, we did okay last year, and so now you're not hungry anymore because you feel like you've arrived and you really haven't. They fail to use new technology. So sometimes people are resistant to change, to adapt, and they're still using outdated technology that can cause them to fail. Okay? So you say, I need some help. Yes, you may need help in areas of legal, tax, accounting, marketing, and or finance. All right? So you want to make sure that you have people within your circle that have these skill sets that help you with things such as contracts, leases, protection against liabilities in terms of having an experienced lawyer, uh, people who understand how to do research, people who understand finance. You want to make sure that you either hire or you have these people in-house 
with these skill sets. And that's where SCORE comes in. SCORE stands for the Service Corps of Retired Executives. This is an organization that has more than 11,000 volunteers from all industries, from trade industries, education, lawyers, accountants, finance people, etc. Sometimes you may find people like myself, business professors at the local colleges or college clubs that provide advice and counseling. Other small business owners can, can, can provide advice. But you want to make sure that you are reach out to people who have the skill sets to make sure that your company is being run properly. Okay? So that will conclude our discussion on Chapter 6. Maybe for those who were considering becoming an entrepreneur, this information will help you to make that leap and start your own business. Okay? So review the Chapter 6 lecture material. Complete your Chapter 6 homework assignments by the assigned due date. And as always, have a great day!